Wrapping apples is a fun activity to do in the fall or for back to school. And let me show you a few quick ideas for doing that. First of all, you can make a class, Apple Graph, by having kids first brainstorm different ways that you can eat apples, creating a question, and then placing all those materials on a graphing template, and inviting students to place their vote in the correct column. And then be sure, of course, to ask students to analyze that data. Uh, you can do the same thing, make another class graph doing a different attribute, for example, colors. And then another graphing activity I like to do begins with a sort. So I give kids uh, a collection of photo cards, in this case they're apples, and there's many different attributes in this collection. So I begin with one, and this is color. So students are going to sort that set by color, and I have them place their groups in vertical columns so that it begins to resemble a bar graph. And then they can actually make a graph from that data. So I give them a reproducible, they label the bottom of that, and then they simply color in one box to represent each uh, apple card in their sort. So at a center, I would give them a three-step task like this, to sort the apples, to make a graph, and then to read their graph. And there would be various task cards uh, for different attributes for those sorts. So they could visit the center many times and just choose a different way to sort and graph the apples. Then I've also created uh, another set of apples. In this case, they're all candy apples. And there are still many different attributes they can sort by. So I do the same thing. I create task cards for them, place them at the center, and they can sort, graph, and then read their graphs. Now, all of these activities are in a resource called Apple's Math Fun, which is available as a digital download, so you can have it instantly. And if you want to know more about that resource, we hope you'll visit us at teachbright.com. Happy teaching.